What's going on guys? Welcome back to day number two on the pond send. So obviously you guys just seen day number one and me and Gabe, well mainly Gabe, but I got a big one too. Gabe got two five pounders. We didn't have a scale for one, which you guys seen. And then uh, right there at the end, I ended up getting on a four and a half pounder roughly um, with my rod on my lap. So you guys seen that, which was crazy, right? So that day, so this is day number two, but it's not the next day. It's like a couple days later. So that was on like a, I think we went, we did that on a Wednesday. So today's Saturday. So it's been a couple days and the temperature has like changed drastically. Like I think that day it was like 67. And right now <clears throat> that was in the evening. So we're going to do a morning send and see what happens. And then right now it's about 39. So definitely a big change. So hopefully we can still get on these fish. Um, hopefully they're not too finicky, but the crazy part is, out of all the bass we've caught in Ohio so far, um, none of them were spawning yet. They were all definitely pre-spawned still. These fish are spawning already in this pond, which is like a little bit strange, but I'm no bass expert either, so I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get back out on the yaks this morning and hopefully get on a couple more big ones. Um, and then I'm gonna bring you guys along. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head to the pond and we're gonna get the yaks in the water and we'll go ahead and get going, guys. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we're at the location of our pond and we're going to start fishing. Um, I'm not going to bring my big camera just because I don't feel confident enough on my kayak. There's Gabe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get on my GoPro and then we'll go ahead and get started. So let's do it. Alright guys, so we're out on the water. We're going to head to our first location here. And I was thinking, let's get on some fish right now. Like, it is 2021. It's a little chilly, but you know what? We anticipated that. And let's just get on some fish. You ain't never gonna catch them unless you just send it, you know what I mean? So, we're just gonna go send it. I'm throwing a Texas rig today, which when I get to that first spot, um, I will show you guys a little bit more, um, like, like my setup. And uh, I got a new combo, which you guys seen in day one. That's what I was using pretty much the whole time. Um, so, we are gonna keep throwing that because it seemed like it was working. So, go ahead and do it and you know what? I'm not doing too bad for never being in a kayak before either so let's creep over here to our first location all right guys so here's what I'm using so this is a Daiwa Procaster combo honestly this is probably the best budget combo you could possibly buy um, I'm definitely I'm gonna do a video on it because it's such a great combo like it's so good even Gabe went and bought one and they're just like, they're just a quality, quality combo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep throwing what was working last time. So all I'm throwing here is just this little like craw on a Texas rig with a bullet weight. So everything seems to be good. I've got my rod ready and let's go ahead and get into, actually I'm gonna go over here, we'll go ahead and get into position and we will start fishing. So just wanted to show you guys what rod I'm using. They have fishing line in the water? Let's go. Got him still? It's big, dude, ain't it? Looks decent. That's a decent one. Looks like, I mean, not like, it's not a five pounder. It's like a three and a half, four pounder though. I don't know, dude, that's pretty, that's a good one, dude. That's a fat chunker. Gabe's got one. Let's go. Hey, we didn't get skunked, bro. That's all I care about. Hey, hey, get out of the get out of the pads, bro. <laughs> dude, look at this stomach. Dude, they're fat in here, bro. Got one. You lost it. They come off. It was big, bro. You lost it? I freaking lost it. Bro. Kind of the same one I used last, the same size you got. Uh, yeah. Bro. Dude, that was big, bro. Are you 
I mean, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't, I don't think it was as big as that last one I got, but. All right, listen, it wasn't. <laughs> He's like right in here, bro. Got one. I swear I lost it again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You might have came back for it. He came back. He came back. It's a big, it's a big. It's a big. It's a big. It's a big. He came back for it, bro. Oh, oh, calm down, boy. I nailed him, bro. He wasn't getting off. That's how you get him right there, boy. All right. Did I just, just from just now? Oh, yeah. Put my whole rod in the water again. Who cares? Well, I'm, I'm not trying to do it. I just, like, I got so much. I still got enough drag out right now. All right, guys. So, just caught a freaking giant. Shoo. All right, guys. So this guy's been out of water for a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and weigh this dude and uh, see what's cracking. I'm gonna say four point. There's proof that my uh, scale is zeroed out. I'm gonna say four point three. Uh, three point eight four. Only a three pounder, dude. Four. Oh, yeah, I thought it looked like a four. What the heck? You telling me this don't look like a four? Yeah, I do. Trying to get over on me, bro. So, good fish. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. I got, I got one. I got a big one, dude. It's a freaking toad. It's, it's PB, PB, 100%. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just too excited. Oh, he's trying to get me, bro. He's barely hooked. Grab that fish. I don't even think that. It's not even through his mouth, bro. All right, guys. So, pull some drag out here. All right, guys, so if you guys see this, this hook wasn't even, it was not even, he, it wasn't even hooked. It was just sitting in his mouth, and the crawl's gone. This fish is way heavier than that last one, bro. Look at his stomach. PB? I hope so, dude. PB again? Oh, freaking tank of a fish. Dude, that's huge. That's, a, that's every bit of four. Look at his stomach. Here, guys, look at. Look at that stomach. And if you guys haven't noticed, I call every fish a she or a he because it just that's how I talk. But uh, yeah, let's get let's get let's get a weight on this guy because I'm I'm having a feeling. So my PB I caught in day one was 4.25. So let's see what we got. Gabe's getting his scale out. Dude, these fish. Look at these. I don't know if you can see that. They got chompers. That's my scale too. I just want to see yeah, if there's a difference. It's four something. Three point eight something. It looks, like it. it looks, it's a, dude, look at it. It's a freaking monster. There's no way. Oh my gosh, my arm is like tired as crap. <laughs> dude, I bet. Oh yeah. You're, yeah, I did something wrong. Broke my PB. Broke my PB. So I think I don't think, either I didn't have that scale zeroed out. 4.33. 4.33. Broke my PB again. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't know. It's all right. All right, guys. So officially broke my PB again, 4.33. So check that out. All right, guys. So we're back, back home now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We got on some really good fish today. We had a good two days of fishing there. Um, like I said, there was a little bit split up, so it was a couple days in between, but I wanted to do like a day one, day two, because I didn't know how we were gonna do day one, you know what I mean? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, drop a like and comment down below and tell me what other fish you guys wanna see me try to catch, whether it be bass, crappie, bluegill, whatever you guys like to see. You guys comment down below and let me know. 
And thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.